All right, so now that we know how to create a pop-up page, next thing we're gonna do is implement a web view tag inside of our pop-up page that's gonna show a type form uh, form for our review on the app. So if people click on top of this pop-up page, inside of that will actually show a type form website that we're gonna go ahead and create. And we're gonna use a web view to showcase uh, that web page. Uh, so we're not gonna really be doing any designs for the form in the actual Figma file. We're gonna be using Typeform, a separate website on the side, and we'll go ahead and I'll show you that right now. So in this next section, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna create our Airtable database that's gonna hold our contact list, uh, as well as our reviews that people leave for our app. We're also gonna learn how to implement that uh, review page right here in our menu that is actually gonna be used with Typeform. So we'll learn how to implement that and we'll learn how to sync our Typeform uh, reviews that we get into the actual Airtable database. So let's go ahead. Um, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create our Airtable database. So I went ahead and made a new uh, table here in Airtable. I named it contact list. Um, I made two different tables here, uh, contacts, which will hold my list of contacts. Um, that's gonna include the name, the description, phone number, email, and the photo of that contact. My second table here is gonna be the reviews. Um, I just put these ones in here, but basically the name of the person leaving the review, the rating that they um, left, and whatever detailed description review. So that's the information that we're gonna need for our contacts and our reviews. Uh, next, we're gonna go look at Typeform. Now Typeform um, is a site you can use to create these basically forms that people fill out. You can ask questions, um, do um, reviews, um, whatever you wanna set up these forms for. Uh, you can see in the free plan, you can make up to three forms and you can only have up to 100 responses per month. Um, for this case, free plan is all we need. So I went ahead uh, right here and made an app review one. And in here, the first question uh, is gonna say, hello, what's your name? So they can type in their name. Uh, the second one is a rating. So they can rate it from one to five stars. And this is where they can leave thoughts below, uh, whatever detailed description of their review they want to leave. And then when they hit OK, uh, that's it. But we need a way to connect our information from this type form, so whatever they fill out, and connect it back to our Airtable reviews table right over here. And we're actually gonna use something called Zapier to do that. So if you ever used this before or don't know what Zapier is, it's a way to connect information from one app to another. They have a bunch of um, apps that are integrated into this that work with it and they call them Zaps. And basically Zaps, you can send information from one app to another. So in this case, we're gonna send information from our type form form to our Airtable database. So right here on Zapier, I'm gonna hit make a zap in the top left. First thing we're gonna have to choose is the trigger. So what's gonna trigger this connection to happen? So it's gonna be our type form form. So I'll go ahead and select that. And our trigger event is whenever a new entry of this type form is completed, this event is gonna happen. Now I'm gonna sync it to my type form account. I'm gonna hit continue. And we are here, uh, since it's um, linked up to my account, we have my app review form from type form. Hit continue there, and we'll go ahead and test this trigger out. And there we go. So they went ahead and did that. We'll hit continue. Cool. Second thing we need to do is select the action. So that's gonna be our air table. So type form is gonna trigger it. Our action is we're gonna add all that information into air table. So we wanna create a new record 
right? Because uh, we're not updating anything, uh, we're creating a new record within our Airtable. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select our Airtable account. And I'm gonna hit continue. Cool, so we need to choose our base, their database that we're gonna be syncing it to. And it should be, sorry, sometimes it doesn't scroll low enough. There we go, contact list right there. And the table we wanna do, we should have two tables. We have our contacts and reviews, but again, our type form form is for our app reviews. So we're gonna select reviews here. And we have, of course, the three different um, columns in our database, which was name, rating, and review. So our name is going to be, oh, it doesn't show it all. We'll hit show all options here. Our name is gonna be um, from type form. When they answer the question, hello, what's your name? That's the, whatever answer they give is what we wanna put in the name area. Rating, it's the, uh, what would you rate this app, right? We'll take that and put that into the rating area. And then reviews, is going to be the section where they can go ahead and leave whatever review they want or leave your thoughts below. And that's gonna be that section right there. So once we hit that, uh, we can say right here, um, our action is gonna to be to create a record in Airtable. Uh, it's gonna be part of our contact list database in the reviews table of it and the name, the rating, and the review should be all that information connected nicely there. So we'll test and send. Everything is good, and we're gonna go ahead and turn on this zap. Close out of that. Cool. And there we go, now we have that set up. So if we go to our list here, well, now we have three. If you remember, we had two before, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete two of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up our app here. Just to make sure everything is good, I am going to update this. I'm gonna move it on the side just a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead, open our menu, review this app. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this review. So name, we're gonna put something different. We're gonna put John. Uh, we'll name it, we'll do three stars. And this app is okay. And we'll hit submit. There we go. And then we'll close out of the reviews. And you can see right here in our Airtable section and there are reviews table. We have the review we just left, which was John, three out of five stars, and this app is okay. So now that we have our connections between our type form and our Airtable, how do we actually display that type form on our application? We're actually gonna use a tag. If I can find it right here, um, I believe it's under components. We're gonna be using a tag called web view right over here. And this is a web page where we replace the content of a rectangle. So what this does is we create a rectangle in our Figma design. We give it this Bravo tag right here and whatever website we put within this section here is what's gonna be displayed within the um, rectangle layer itself. So if we look at our app, this review form here, I have this gray rectangle. And if I look at the rectangle right here, you'll see that I have the um, Bravo tag for the web view and then I have the URL for the type form, uh, form that we created uh, right over there. So adding that, again, it has to be a rectangle. It's not gonna be a frame or anything. It is a rectangle that you have to add it to. So when you create your rectangle, name it the with that Bravo tag, with the web view and the website, and that website will then again show inside of your Bravo app.